Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is Buzzman YT and I just wanted to make a real quick video talking about Fallout 76. So, as a huge fan of the Elder Scrolls series and the Fallout series, I just wanted to say that I'm actually really excited for this game. Whether or not the rumors or the speculation about the game turn out to be true or false, cooperatively or solo, I feel like this next Fallout game will be a renowning success. Uh, I have always had an insane amount of love for the Fallout games, and that won't change anytime soon. Fallout and Bethesda games have always struck me as some of the best open world games and some of the most fulfilling open world games. Now the reason I say that is because games, um, alright, Dying Light, right? Dying Light to me is considered an open world game, but it's a very dead open world. Once you complete the main storyline and the like, I want to say maybe 10 or 25 tests, after that the game is pretty dead, there's no reason to continuously play it. But I've played Skyrim for years on it. And there's always a reason to keep playing it. Whether or not it's trying out new games, trying out a new playstyle, or just adventuring the world. Uh, my first place with Skyrim, I never wandered the wilderness like this. I never generally walked places. I always fast traveled or took carriages everywhere. So, on my second playthrough of Skyrim, which admittedly wasn't, like, I think my second playthrough was last, like three years long, and in that three years I was discovering things I had never seen in the first playthrough. Uh, this right here would be technically my third playthrough, and I'm still seeing a little things every now and then. Granted, I never had the DLC. So, now that I do have it, that's something that I can look forward to experiencing. So this game will always be new to me for a certain degree. Now Fallout 76, if it takes place in the same way as Fallout New Vegas, or if it's more similar to Fallout New Vegas versus Fallout 4, then that will be renowned step forward. Uh, if they could find a way to mash both of those things together, because Fallout 4 is known for it had oh shit what the fuck it had its better combat than many other games and I will say that it does do that properly. Fallout 4 has some of the best combat I've seen in a Fallout game. Um, but Fallout New Vegas is the story that the dialogue the G elements generally were all better than the first. The and I hope Fallout 76 has the ability to go through all of them and find out what works for itself. Now, uh, for the most part, I don't really mind if Fallout 4 was not Fallout, Fallout, 70, Fallout 76 was cooperative or not. It's nothing that really struck me as, oh, this is going to be the end of the game like no if Fallout went cooperative and it still re kept its good single player aspects like imagine if Fallout 4 was cooperative where you could have up to let's say 32 players wandering the map as well as your own lonesome warrior that right there would have been a phenomenal thing you would have been a much more f fulfilling game even imagine Skyrim you have other Dragonborns out there doing their own thing. Granted, it could make for a very cancerous community, but I feel like, at least in Skyrim, it was something that people wanted was for a cooperative mode in this game to be able to play online with, dude, even let's say, instead of 30 people, let's say 16 people. You have 16 people wandering this map. Now, for me, that is a pretty good thing to do. I think that the game would work out very well in that manner. Now, another thing that I want to talk about is if the dialogue and RPG systems, I don't want them to be as complex as they were because I was never a huge person to understand the difference. I've been looking for you. Of the Fallout Got something games. I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands uh, cool. How do I say this? All right. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up huh. in the world, eh? 
Looks like that's it. Got to go. Let's put it this way, right? So Fallout 3, I played maybe about four or five hours of it at a friend's house. I was never a game that I myself was into that heavily. But was once like us. Fallout 4, I played eight hours into the game. Existence. But we might better understand the vagaries of life. And Fallout New Vegas, I played maybe 30 hours of it. Whatever it took to complete the main quest line and a few of the side quests. I really didn't delve that deep into Fallout New Vegas, but I just watched about 15 different people play it. And it might be the way that I play it that made the game better. Sad time. Our daughter. Our little girl. She hadn't but seen I will food. say that okay, I don't really care. Um, Sp Stewie, I could drive a man to do something like this. I want to get that question. I just don't understand what kind of man does that. Um, but I will say that I'm generally pleased with how things have gone uh, in the Fallout games. Fallout to me is not one of those games that oh, besides Bethesda's creation uh, club. Everything that Elder Scrolls has done has kind of remained the same. Right now, I have a few visual mods in the game, and they're pretty, they're decently noticeable. Not completely, but they are noticeable. But I just hope Fallout 76 has a good launch. Um, I know we have Bethesda's bugs, which are literally in all their games, which is why they have their own name. You don't know if it's a bug or a game feature. But I hope Fallout 76 actually has the best of both games. I want it to have enough RPG elements that people don't just call it a first person shooter with dialogue, which is basically what I called Fallout 4. But I don't want it to be too deep into the RPG series that the fans of Fallout 4 will not be able to understand it. I want the dialogue choices to be there, but I don't want all of the... I want a middle ground. Let's leave it at that. Uh, that's the best way I can put it. I want weapon durability in. Uh, I want you to have your player management things. Like that needs to be an aspect of an RPG game. But uh, enough rambling. I just wanted to make a quick video talking about my thoughts on that game. Even though no one pretty much cares, I would just want to put it out there. Uh, this is Blood from Awati, and I wish you all a fair day.